He's Danny Flexen here for seconds out. Delighted to be joined by the British middleweight champion, Denzel Bentley. Denzel, how are you? Good, thanks. And yourself? Yeah, very good. Cheers, mate. You're out in the US, obviously, just days away now from the world title yeah. shot against Danny Beck and Lim Canuli. How does it feel now you're actually there and, and just days away? It feels good. It feels exciting. Um, I'm just excited about it, man. I can't wait. I, I can't wait. Martin always says, don't wish your life away, but right now, I wish it was Saturday. I don't want to lie to you. <laughs> and this is your first fight in the US, but have you been to the US before for other reasons? Yeah, I've been to uh, New York just, you know, just for a holiday, but I've, I've never been Vegas before or on the West Coast or things where the time difference is a bit mad, but yeah. What's it like, the kind of buzz? Because I've been to Vegas for five weeks before. It usually kind of takes over the whole city. Have you kind of got, have you seen any of that? Um, you know what? Uh, since when we landed the first week, the first weekend, we were like up and down looking at things. But since, you know, the week has started, we've just been training, haven't really been around or about or, you know, we haven't really been doing up tourism. So I haven't really seen much of it on, only online. Only that on Instagram and stuff on socials and stuff, but I ain't really seen on the but either way, I am just I'm I'm still excited. Where have you based yourself training wise since you've been there? I've been training at the Merva gym. Oh, wicked. Have you yeah. who have you mixed with? Like what fighters and stuff? Um not, not not I haven't really mixed many fighters because when we go there, they kind of lock up the gym for us because obviously oh, we have our yeah, we're just in our camp. But I've sparred a few um a few amateur boys and a few young prospects that are, you know, quite a good WW next up for sure. But um yeah, man, they've had, I've had some good work with them, so it's been good. But most you, of the foreign stuff was done back home. Give us an idea of what sort of stuff you've done differently in this training camp to previous ones, if, if anything. Uh, travel to another gym. Across <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the world, you know what I mean? But um, come out a bit early to, to finish off the camp. But yeah, man, and obviously a lot more Southpaw sparring. I haven't, I haven't fought, I haven't boxed a Southpaw before, so I haven't really needed as much Southpaw sparring, but I've always had you know, Southpaw's around to spy and I, and I match up well against Southpaw. So um, it's been a good camp. It's been a good camp. Um, um, can't complain about the camp at all. Everything's gone well. Um, yeah, just excited, man. It's a excited for the opportunity. Excited for, excited for the fight. Now, I think I might have asked you this when the fight was first announced, but I can't remember, so I'm going to ask it again anyway. How do you feel about the, the kind of leap from the opposition you've been beating recently or in the last year or two to someone like Alim Kanuli? I don't think it's much of a leap because the guys he's beaten or been in with haven't been much better than the guys I've been in with and beat. So it's not really a leap. Um, you know, I pretty much see it as I'm fighting a good fighter, but you know, he didn't he didn't beat a champion to get his belt. And that's no discredit to him because he's he's like I said, he's he's, he's a good fighter, he's, he's an amazing fighter. But um, you know, I don't think there's much to fear here. I don't think there's much he's he's a fighter with a whole lot of potential and hasn't proved it yet. I'm not saying he's not that guy, but he hasn't proved it yet. And to be honest, neither have I. Neither have I. So apart from the fact that he's got all the media hype and or and a bigger amateur background, I think as professionals, you know, we're both probably both on the um the same sort of trajectory, like not like yeah, the same sort of trajectory. I think he ain't beat a champion, he's been elevated to, to world champion, which is cool. But um yeah, with 12 fights and no no real champions or big names on his record, I don't think we're far off each other, you know what I'm saying, in that sense, if that's what you're saying about a leap. And I spoke to Danny Dignam not long before he fought Zanibek, and he was kind of glowing about how good Zanibek was. He'd, he'd mixed with him at a combined training camp in the amateurs. He'd watched him throughout his amateur career. So there was that kind of level of, I don't want to say too much respect, but he was well aware of how big a challenge it was, if you like. Have you, are you as aware of Zanibek's kind of amateur pedigree and that kind of thing? Because it's probably an advantage if you're not as, you know, a big a, a fan of his, if you like. You no, know, I hear that, I hear that, but I don't really care. Like, I, that, even if I did know and I seen, I know he was in the Olympics, I know he beat Fowler in the Olympics, I know he beat a few, a few, you know, um, guys from 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 Britain and that. But what does that mean? Do you know what I mean? It, it, it wasn't me. Do you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> I don't really care about that fan or no fan, or I do think he's a good fighter, like I've said all, the, all this time, but I'm a good fighter too. So, you know, we're just, we're just, we're going to go, you know, trade lever on Saturday and see he comes out on top, which I believe it will be me. A lot of people when I've spoke to about this fight have said your best chance is to get him out of there early to really put it on him from the start. I guess similar to how you've done in some of your recent fights. Mm -hmm. 
do you kind of go along with that? I don't expect to give away the whole game plan, but do you, do you worry about going the distance in Las Vegas where, as you said, he's had all the spotlight, all the hype? No, not really. I, I went the distance with um, Linus on his home show. So good it don't really mean anything. Do you know what I'm saying? I just got to do what I do and win convincingly. I'm not really bothered about all of that stuff. Oh, he's the main guy or he's this and that. And I've got to stop him. I'm not putting that sort of unnecessary pressure on myself because you could do that and still not stop him and end up boxing how you didn't want to box. So I'm focused on what I'm doing, what I want to do, how I want to do it. Um, if I do sense, you know, any sign of weakness, he's gone. And if not, then we go the distance. How much support do you feel you're getting from back home? Have you kind of felt that through your socials and stuff? I think I'm getting a lot more now that the fight's coming up. But at first, when it was first kind of rumoured or announced, I was getting a lot of stick. Like, wow, he's moving mad. He's taking a step too far or this, this, that. Do you know what I mean? Like I said to you, I'm fine. A guy that hasn't hasn't really been proven, but he's a good fighter. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um but now the fight's getting closer. I'm getting a lot of support. People are backing me and they're saying, listen, let's, let's do it. Bring it back home to, to the UK and stuff. So that's nice. But at the same time, it doesn't make a difference whether it will stick or abuse. I'm still taking this fight and I'm still going to try and win. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to say no, are you? Like It's the same people that criticising Paul Butler for fighting in Uwe. You know, if you're It makes no sense. Like, well, you got between the half time, but world title shot for Paul Butler. That's a unified world championship yeah. fight. We're going to say no and run the other way. And then, and then <laughs> exactly. What? And then he gets sick for that, saying, no, he's not a real fighter. He's not just, listen, we, this is what we do, we fight. This is what we're doing with fighters. Like, like, we sign up to this, we fight, we want to fight the best, we want to be the best. How can, you, how can you knock someone down for trying to, you know, be the best at what they do? It doesn't make any sense, just because you feel like they're not ready. It no sense. Yeah, it's crazy. Do you think you'll be able to enjoy it at the moment? Because you're so razor-focused, laser-focused rather, not razor-focused, <laughs> on what you're about to do, on getting the job done, sticking to the game plan. Do you think you'll be able to take in any of the, the atmosphere and the occasion? I don't want to. I don't want to. I think, I, think that's, I think that's losing focus of what I need to do. I think that's, you know, losing sight of, of the job at hand. And I think, um, you know, after the fight, you know, come out on top, win that world title, then I can really soak it up and, you know, think about what I've done. But other than that, I'm just in the ring, you know, boxing someone else. I can't really look at the atmosphere and think like, wow, look what I've done. I ain't done the job yet. It's, it's not finished. It's not over. I, I, I can't act like I've achieved, you know, I can't act like I've achieved the most when, you know, there's still a job to do. So I don't want to. So I, I'm not I'm not trying to and I don't want to. Now, you're a proud British champion two times, obviously. But whenever I've spoken to you, even right from the start, you've said your focus is on winning a world title. That's been the goal. Yeah. Can you kind of put it into words what doing that means to you? It just means it means a lot, man. It means I've 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 completed what I started to do. And then now it's time to set new tasks. Do you know what I'm saying? Like every fighter you ask it dreams to be a world champion, no matter who it is, or even fight for a world title. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's where I wanted to be from the start. I've I've wanted to be at you know world level and championship fights, big nights, headlining back back in the UK, you know, everyone there for me and just those amazing nights, memorable nights that fans will remember forever. And I think winning a world title helps me do that. Winning a world title helps me, you know, achieve my goal, my accolade. You know, um, it makes me feel like when I started this sport it was for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Because I started late, and it made me it, it, would, it would allow me to know the work I put in. You know, was was real. It wasn't in vain. It wasn't like I'm playing at the game. Like so, this opportunity came up for me to achieve what, like you said, I've been saying to you from the beginning, from when I was hadn't even fought a guy with a winning record yet. I want to be a world champion, and you know, we're here now, isn't it? So it it, it just means a lot. But I'm not. I'm not trying to make this my moment, mm. just fighting for it. I want to win it first, and then that's the moment that i got to kind of enjoy and soak up. Brilliant. Well, I hope we all get to watch you do that at the weekend. But, yeah, really appreciate your time, and um, very best of luck. Nice one. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Take care. Yeah. Cheers, Danny.